We all know that men are more physical and sexual beings as compared to women who are more emotional. But did you know that there are different types of touch that will drive your man wild? <laughs> well, in today's video, we are going to get into seven different touches that will make him go crazy. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, every time that I start talking about touch, y'all take it to the next level. I do not want you to think that this video is all about sex. Even though the things that we are talking about in this video could lead to sex, that is not the primary goal of what I'm about to share with you. Now, before we get into it, I need for you to comment below, what are some of the areas, some go-to areas that you touch on your men that drive him crazy? Again, make sure to keep it G. We're not doing rated X comments over here on this video. The first way to touch your man that will drive him crazy is gentle caresses. We have to start at the beginning here because this is like 101. We got to start and then we go, we gonna build up a little bit. But gentle caresses are those soft, subtle touches that send shivers down his spine. And to be honest, it's not always about where you touch him at, but it's about how you do it. So lightly running your fingers over very sensitive areas. Definitely do the trick. I'm talking about necks and arm, and even the chest can be very stimulating. The second way that you can touch your man that will make him go crazy, and technically this isn't a touch, but I wanted to include this on here, is a whisper. I know you're probably like a whisper, Keandra. Yes, a whisper goes a long way. A change in your tone can make something that you would normally say way more sexier. So whispering sweet nothings in his ear, little sexy comments, little things that keep it spicy is a game changer. And there's a combination of like your breath making sure that your breath is on point though, right? <laughs> but the breath, the warmth of your breath, and then your tone of voice being lower, that combination can be very, very sexy and it can really, really drive him wild. So I would incorporate whispers from time to time. The third way that you can touch your man that's gonna make him go crazy is sensual massages. I don't know anybody on the face of this planet who doesn't enjoy a massage, especially if you are a person that typically feels more tense and stressed out. This can have a dual effect. One, it can help you build that intimacy with your partner, but it also just releases the stress and reduces all of the toxins in your body. So it has some additional health benefits as well. But what I'm talking about here is making this a whole experience. Dim the lights. Cue a little music, whatever you prefer, something soft and subtle. Use your preferred massage oil and also focus on the areas of their body which are tense and stressed and just need a little bit of a release. So typically that's people's necks, their shoulders, their back, their feet. Those are some particular areas that you may want to focus on if you're going to take this serious. Now again, don't take this to the next level because we're not talking about massages with happy endings right now. Okay. The fourth way that you can touch your man that will drive him wild is playful teasing. I know that this isn't everybody's thing, but there are certain ways that you can be playful and teasing your man that could drive him a little crazy. So think about the times where you are touched in areas that are sensitive. Like if you are tickled under your arms or on your stomach or on the bottom of your feet, like that can be fun and build some type of excitement and anticipation, but also to things like taking a feather, a large feather that you can get anywhere uh, from the store, Amazon, wherever, a large feather and just brushing it gently and slowly over certain parts of your partner's body. Yeah, thank me later. So remember what I told you we're about to build up? We are about to build up. So the fifth way that you can touch your man that will drive him crazy is to focus on his erogenous zone. Don't forget these y'all. And if you don't know what those are, these are different areas on the body that are very sensitive to touch. So people's ears, maybe an inner thigh, maybe a nipple. These are areas that you want to focus on that are erogenous and can be helpful in making him go crazy 
over the way that you touch him. So explore those areas with care and a little concern. The sixth way to touch your man that's gonna drive him crazy is to experiment with temperature. We forget about this. Temperature is a game changer. And when I'm talking about temperature, I'm talking about hot, cold, warm, in between, whatever their preference is. I know some people focus on ice or some people focus on something that's hot. Whatever you choose to do is up to you. One thing that I can tell you, the contrast between using hot and cold does something to the body and it stimulates you on a completely different level. And it could be whatever. It can be an ice cube, a warm towel, a hot oil, a hot stone, whatever you're using, just make sure that the temperature is to their liking. If it's too, too cold and they're saying, whoa, this is too much, go ahead and press pause on that. If it's too, too hot and they're like, whoo, third degree burn, <laughs> then you need to make sure that that's not the case too. Make sure that it is something that they are comfortable with. And the seventh way, and you know I got a bonus. I forgot to tell y'all that. I got a bonus to this one as well. But the seventh way to touch your man that is going to drive him wild are surprise touches. I don't know if you ever felt a caress, a touch, or something that was completely unexpected, but you liked it? Yeah. So surprise him with touches throughout the day. Give him a, a lingering kiss. You know, you might do a little peck normally, but tongue it up for a minute. Or I have this video on my channel that I'll probably post here or a clip that I did where I talked about the six second kiss. Do something that is going to surprise the heck out of him that is outside of your normal routine. It's the part where you least expect it, whether that's a pinch, whether there's a smack on the butt as you're walking by or a butt grab. Spontaneity is a great part of relationships that I wish more people would embrace. And last but not least, number eight, the bonus that I had to add on here before I give my final thoughts is making sure that you are shifting and changing the senses. So I'm just gonna call this one blindfold. One of the things that we all know is that when one sense is reduced, the other senses get heightened. So if you blindfold and take away his sight, his ability to hear, his ability to taste, his ability to touch, all of those things get heightened. So all of the elements that we talked about before with the whisper and the gentle touch and the temperature, these will be great when they are blindfolded. So consider making sure that you take away a sense to heighten all the rest of them. So my final thoughts on this before we end is that touch is so powerful and I did not want this video to be sexual at all, but if it's helping some of y'all get to where y'all need to get to in a relationship or in a healthy marriage, go on ahead and thank me later. But I wanted to encourage you guys to understand that men are very sexual beings. They're very uh, physical beings, actually. And so sometimes all of the, the love and the touch and the doing is for the woman. But we have to remember that there's reciprocity in relationships. So just as much as you want to be touched and hugged and cuddled and all of the things, he also wants that. He may not verbalize it, but when it happens, they like it. They like it a lot. So make sure that you are doing the things for your partner that you will want him to do for you as well. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.